We're given the list K, N, 12, 6, and 17. And we're asked, what is the value of N on the list? So statement number one tells us merely that K is less than N. Well, that statement alone doesn't allow us to have a value for N. Even if we knew that K equaled 7, N could equal 8 or N could equal 5,000, could equal anything. So this statement by itself is insufficient. Now forget statement number one, focus purely on statement number two. We're told that the median of the list, the median of the list is 10. Well, that's interesting. If we put the numbers in order, we know that 10 would have to be the median. And since there are five numbers on the list, since there's an odd number, one of the numbers on the list would have to equal 10. So we have two numbers given that are greater than 10. And then we have a six down here. And then for K and N, well, one of them would have to equal 10. And then one of them would have to be less than 10. We don't know whether it would be greater than or less than six, but we don't know which one is which. The most we could say is that we know that one of the two of them is 10 and one of them is less than 10. But that alone doesn't allow us to deduce the value of N so this statement by itself is insufficient. So both statements insufficient. Well, now let's combine the statements. Combine statement number one, statement number two. Well, now we know, again, we have the list. We have 10 as the median. We have the two given numbers above the median. We don't know where the six is going to fall, whether it's going to be the minimum or what. But we know that n is greater than k. So if one of the two remaining numbers is less than 10 and one equals 10, the greater one must equal 10. So that must mean that k is the one less than 10 and n is the one equal to 10. So it turns out that with both of these pieces of information combining them, we're able to deduce that n does equal 10. So we're able to deduce the value of n. So combined, the statements are sufficient. Answer choice C.